Everyone, so the Semper Fi and America's Fund provide lifetime support to combat wounded veterans and their families. Now, this nonprofit organization assisted local veteran Alex Torres and his service dog Kong. Alex and Kong joining us here this morning to share their journey and the special bond you guys have. Thanks for coming on here, Alex. Really appreciate your time and thank you so much for your service. Can you tell us a little bit about your service, your background, and uh, how you eventually got to get in touch with Kong here? Yeah, absolutely. So I joined the Marine Corps in 2004. Um, served from 2004 to 2013. Uh, did a combat tour in 2006 to 2007 mm -hmm. in, uh, in Iraq. And then uh, got out in 2013. Once I got out, then started I started noticing the changes. Not my, only myself, then family would start realizing. Yeah, it. and what were some of those changes? Um, a lot of isolation. Okay. Um, lack of sleep. That, sure. was, that was another big one. Um, I can go down the line was with Was it this. basically PTSD? It was. Yeah. Um, I had to realize that it was PTSD. Yeah. Um, you're in denial of a lot of it. So okay. um, once I realized it was the PTSD, I began looking for help. Yeah. Um, ended up finding Kong. <laughs> he, he was, I just adopted him. Um, wasn't from a breeder. I was like, let's, let's rescue a pup. Yeah. Um, and then let's give him a job. So okay, his cool. job was, was going to be me. Um, yeah. I need to pull that stress off the family because yeah. um, it can be stressful once sure. you have family, your wife, your kids. Yeah. Um, so he's definitely done a big help. And how did Semper Fi and Americas get involved? So once I reached out to Semper Fi and Americas Fund, my case manager, Meredith Peterson, um, she, it was just so effortless. Um, she would dump e everything she can into myself and Kong to make yeah. sure we got better and got the training we needed. So it took care of a lot of his training, um, all of his training actually, and then um, travel, his food, anything like that yeah. to make sure we're all good to go. And, and how does Kong help you? So um, little things, I'm not going to do it here, but um, as far as like triggers, there's a lot of jittering that goes on. You'll see guys like start tapping their feet like crazy. Sure, um, sure. He, so kno he knows I'm a little nervous right now just because it's the big stage, but okay. um, he's just trying to give me that attention. Yeah, I see that he's giving you a lot of love yeah. there. Uh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing what, what, our, what our dogs can do. Yeah. Talk about the... Um, training that Kong had to go through to, get to, to be able to help you out? Sure, so the, the first part of the training um, happened right after he just got done with all his vaccinations. It's just pretty much, let's, let's get him walking, um, yeah. understand the leash and all those commands, sit, stay. Um, once we sharpen that up back home, then let's start phase two. Yeah. And would we'll get out to public, um, seeing other dogs, other animals, um, other people, things that he's not familiar with and things get, that could easily get me jittered. Um, sure. So he'll back me up and They'll do it with confidence. I see that. I see yeah. that. You're awesome, Kong. Way to go, buddy. Uh, talk. Up t there's other veterans maybe watching this right now um, or military members that yeah. maybe do need some help. Yeah. Um, we're in your spot. Yes. Um, what's the message to them that you want to you want to share this morning? Uh, don't be afraid to look for help. I mean, it's definitely needed. Uh, yeah, don't make yourself vulnerable. Don't be a statistic. Don't yeah. make yourself a statistic. You're only hurting your family. You did the right thing. Yeah. You reached out when you uh, really needed it, and you found yourself a lifelong pal there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And he has been through your, by your side through a lot of ups and downs. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Continuously makes me work for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for coming in here, sharing your inspiring message, um, and thank you for your service no, and you, everything. Eric. And um, anything else especially you want us to know about Kong? Favorite meal? Favorite thing to do with you? Pork ears and uh, <laughs> uh, camping. camping. And camping. Yeah. Okay, good. You guys yeah. have any trips planned? Uh, we'd like to plan a trip here soon. Maybe somewhere a little local like Big Bear. Okay. Um, he, he definitely liked Anza Borrego. Sure, and sure. Uh, Lots of uh, room, room to roam there. Yeah, absolutely. And our biggest one was Sedona. Awesome. Yeah. Alex, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate your story. It's very inspiring. And uh, you're helping a lot, of, a lot of people. And here you are now in public with Kong yes. sharing your story. That's yeah, very impressive. I appreciate Thanks this opportunity. for your service. And Kong, thanks for being such a cutie during this segment <laughs> here and helping your buddy Alex out here.